How's it going everyone? This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur and welcome back to this Let's Play of Mortal Online Season 4. Alright, so I'm just going back out again today and I'm using my <laughs> using my Makai tour. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm I'm going out to go and look for the thorax. <laughs> And you might be wondering why am I going out to look for the thorax and that's because um, you know I just wanted to see what would happen if I try to take it on. I know I will die if I even get too close, like even get within range of um because I do know that it has ranged abilities and so if I were to go and get within a certain distance, I think it will uh, I think launch some sort of um, ranged, ranged attack on me and so my purpose for going out to look for thorax is not so much to uh, even contemplate on taking it out I just wanted to see what would happen as in I wanted to see what abilities it has and you know so it's just out of curiosity And so that's why I'm going out there to look for thorax. <laughs> because in this game, uh, there's just there's just a lot to do, and and so that's one thing I haven't done yet. <laughs> one of many things on my list of um, list of things to do that I want to do. And. And also as a side objective, I want to improve, you know, get my uh, mounted archery skill up a bit more because it's only at 16 at the moment, which is very, very little. And so, so like I mentioned, you know, I'm not going out to try and kill the thorax by any means. Um, it's really just to go and see what abilities it has and what, uh, what it would be like if I tried to take it on. Okay, so the thorax is, I think, believe I believe it is to that direction. It is out in the in the more desert areas, or actually somewhat close to the jungle. Um, so it is going to be a somewhat of a trip, but. Let's see how we go with that. Okay, so this is still the uh, version 1.23, and uh, SV, you know, is seems to be working on uh, their next content patch, and uh, and. I don't quite know what it is, but they have given a, like I mentioned, you know, another episode, they have released a image of the area and it looks like, looks like it could be something to do with the Grey Halls, which is the, I think it's the demon spawn area or something like that. I'm not too sure, but judging by the image, it does seem like it's, it is something to do with that. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> In the meantime, I've got plenty of things to keep myself occupied. Even as a solo player, um, I think there is plenty to do. Okay, so we're in uh, Maduli now. And if you see these seeds, you um, if you're new and you and you're in Maduli, pick them up and either sell it to the NPC vendors or you s sell it on the trade broker, whichever has the higher price, higher sell price. Because um, you can make quite a bit of um, money from that if you pick enough of it. So, 
and of course <laughs> there is there are other people who have um who have shown this before in videos and all right so i just got to watch myself here because this is a uh i seem i seem to encounter reds and you know murderers along this route this a, so this is a um frequent route for player killers i think and yes i did die one time to player killers who were just waiting around here uh, this was um i think back in season three i believe what are these things i think it's the i think these are ranged bandits i oh, know the walking dead yeah yeah i think this was back in season three I was coming back to Meduli with my miner, my resource gatherer, and I got jumped. <laughs> and of course, my horse wasn't fast enough to outrun them, and I got killed. <laughs> um, so I'm always very cautious, and I don't think that this Lakaitor is that fast either. Even though, as you've seen, it is rather fast, but I don't think it's fast enough to outrun the PvP as the Reds, who <laughs> have probably have um, specialists, um, specialists characters breeding the mounts for them, or they know the secrets to breeding super fast mounts. And and I'm not, I'm not very. Uh, I don't exactly know how fast these uh, mounts can go, but. But I have seen them go fairly fast, so I'm gonna have to keep it. Keep it tight. Uh, keep. Oh, there we go. There's a player. Is he coming? Oh, Belbus. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to. Just take an alternate route if I can. Yeah, out here uh, it's best to avoid any contact with any player you come across, especially the ones that you don't know or um, complete strangers. It's best, best just to avoid them, because you never know. I think 7 or 8 times out of 10, it will be killers, it will be murderers, when you encounter them out here. And I say 7 or 8 times out of 10, because... There are times when you do encounter players, uh, but they're not out to kill. They're just, you know, moving things or they're just exploring. And so you don't, you don't always come across players who are out to kill, but more often than not, <laughs> yeah, more often than not, they are out to get you <laughs> if they see you. And. So it's always just best to avoid them, if you can. Now if you're on foot, then you prob you'll probably be out of luck, because if they're mounted, then they can chase you down very easily. However, if you are on foot, then what you can do is you can, you know, stay close to the edge of the cliff and that may serve as a deterrent. You know, they may stop chasing you, stop uh, going after you, because the way mounts work, um, they have trouble making very sharp turns on a dime. So, so if they can't turn fast enough, or you know, 
at the right moment, they can fall off the cliff. And so that, um, th that may serve as a t uh, deterrent. And okay, well, it seems like all these new structures are going up and I have no idea who owns these. But it's possible that there are mercenary mages up, up in these um, balls or inside. But yeah. <laughs> and look at the sky. You know, part of the reward of um just traveling out in the wild is just to is just seeing the the wilderness. And I think the Vorax isn't too far away. It should be around here somewhere. I don't think you need to go right into the jungle to see it, but I do believe it is somewhere around here. Okay, I still haven't seen it, um, although I do think that it is around here. Thorax should be around here somewhere, and you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, Thorax is um, pretty big, <laughs> to say the least. And there's a uh, magneton soldier. Oops, no. What I want to do is um, put on my bow. No. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fast. Man, these things. Well, they can be pretty fast, actually, it seems. <laughs> Oh, look at that sword. Yeah, best not to get too close to them. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't waste my arrows on that soldier. What I want to do is look for the magneton, so the thorax. Should be around here somewhere. Usually where there are a lot of um, magnetons, I think the thorax isn't too far away. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's just see what would happen if I was to try and, you know... Oh, there's a player. Uh-oh. 
I may be um, getting myself into a PvP situation. Come on, run, run, run. Oh, yep, that player's coming. <laughs> it's seen me, and uh, it's coming after me, so. Oops, <laughs> I may have picked the wrong time to be out, in, out and about. So it's time to just make a dash, and I'm going to try and run as fast as I can, get away from that player. Using my sprint, using my Whew. okay. I think I lost that player. I think. <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw the thorax, but it was that player, and I didn't want to. And that that player could have. Um... Yeah, I didn't know whether that player was at the queue or not, but you know. But just by the way it was coming after me, I just felt that it was probably not not going to be good. So maybe um, <laughs> maybe maybe not a good idea. Maybe let's just leave that for another time. And you know this mount does have trouble going up the hill. I don't know whether it's because it's got such short legs um, or something, or maybe that's just how the mount is. But but yeah. <laughs> yeah th there seems to be some players who are out roaming, roaming in the wild. Hopefully I don't meet that player again. <laughs> I think I've outrun him. So. so hopefully that's the end of that. Oh, I think I was lucky. <laughs> I was fortunate to have made it, you know, you know, outrun that player. What is this? Sam Novers. Oh. Whoa. What are they doing here? Man, since when did these Sam Novers? Man, I didn't know they were here. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that there were Sam Novers in this part of the world. But good to know <laughs> and I don't know if they're aggressive or not I'd imagine that okay it doesn't seem like they're aggressive yeah I don't think they're aggressive <laughs> oh I think they are <laughs> okay so they are aggressive Yep, they are aggressive. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's just... Uh, let's just get away from that. And... Well, at least they're not, you know, terribly fast or anything. So, if you're on a mount, or if you are fast at running, then you can probably escape. And there's another keep here. I think that's... I think this might have been here for a long time. I think I've seen this one. Yeah, I don't know who it belongs to, but probably the guild that controls this territory, so it could be Ronan's Ancient Reign or something.
Okay, so the <laughs> so I think it is fair to say that um, that while there are a lot of players in town, just you know, concentrated in town, there are also players out in the wild. And what the <laughs> you got to be I'm not serious, are they? <laughs> They're walling off this. Are they walling off this rock? And I think you saw that lightning there. Not serious about walling the, walling off this rock, are they? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of that uh, tree in Sadoka, and uh, I don't know which guild was walling it off, but it seems like they built a, you know like a wall around that tree, like that, that giant oak in Sadoka. So, <laughs> uh, plans do change, and but that's part of what makes this game fun is that you know you're not out here to do some scripted quests, but instead you are interacting with players, and they interact with you, whether it be on a friendly. Um, on a friendly basis or whether it could be potentially hostile you know the fact of the matter is is that um, this game is very much centered on player interaction and so as you saw just now earlier on um, I ran into that player and that player you know, it seemed like it was a could be potentially a hostile player so I Look at the sun rays, man. That's that's really cool. Just thought I get a capture that on video. <laughs> and what is this? What? What's a rabbit doing out here? <laughs> okay. You, you don't really see rabbits out in the wild that much. I don't think you. I don't think they're very common. And what is? Oh. Oh, did I bring a shovel? Yes, I did. All right. <laughs> um, yes, equip the shovel. Yes. And... Oh, cool. What did I get? Oh, seven gold coins. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> We've got to go back with this. We've got to, we have to go back with this. We have to go back. We've got to go back. <laughs> seven gold. Guys, I just got seven gold. This is this is awesome. Alright, pressure is on. So what else, what else did I get? I got traveler's leggings, Norse claymore, human carcass. Uh, loaded key. I don't think I... I don't think I need this. So let's just get rid of that. Alright, head back to Tindrum. <laughs> so, even though I didn't manage to, um, you know, find out what would happen if I took on a uh, thorax, but found a found a grave, and so this is awesome. Um, Alright, what's the best way to get? back. Um, oh, hard decision. I think I will take... I think I will take the safer route. Well, not the safer route, but the route that's going to keep me concealed a bit more. Hopefully. And hopefully I won't get hit by lightning. Because you can be hit by lightning in this game. And I, I think I may be at the epicenter of the of the storm front, possibly. So fingers crossed, I won't get hit by lightning. And I'm in cougar territory as well, so gotta keep that in mind. Um, and all these. Uh, 
Panzer Teutonica. Ooh. Man, that was a huge lightning strike. Okay. And you see that cougar hidden among the springbok? <laughs> so deceptive. It reminds me of the uh, wolf hidden among the donkeys. You know, you won't really notice until it's until you're like right next to them, and then you realize that there's a wolf in the midst of. Oh man, see that screen shake? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm definitely in the middle of a, you know, in the epicenter of the storm. So, oh man, I hope I don't get hit. Now, this is what I call adventure. <laughs> um, love it. I love this game. Yeah, it's. Once you've played Mortal Online, you know, I just can't, I just can't go back to those, um, theme park MMORPGs anymore, you know, World of Warcraft and all the copies, you know, clones of, of that game that have come out in the years since, you know, in the past 10 years or so. Yeah, I just can't go back to those games anymore. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is the game for me. <laughs> Um, as well as Star Citizen when 3.0 comes out. And yeah, so this is a uh, this is gaming for me guys, you know. Um, now of course Mortal Online is not perfect. Um, it's definitely a lot of places where it can be improved, but for what it does and for what it uh, can give you, yeah, there's not really anything out there like this. But I'm just going to let my Akaius will rest his stamina, get his stamina back before I continue. And uh, all right, so this is come on. I hope I don't run into any players. Not today, please. I want to I want to get back safely without without getting killed or any such thing. Please just let me make it back in one piece. <laughs> and stay off the roads. <laughs> not not a good idea to stay on the you know to travel by the beaten path. Um, I think that's the mistake a lot of new players make because they don't know the they don't know their way around so they just think that maybe if they follow the road then it will lead to somewhere somewhere that's important or somewhere interesting but could just get them killed on the way. And what is this bloated key that I've got? What does it do? What do I use it for? <laughs> A lot of questions. Well, I'll just have to find out. <laughs> so if you, if you know what the bloated key is for, um, feel free to share. <laughs> Yeah, I've got the traveler's leggings, so uh, I'm, I was going to look at it in my inventory, but I thought this is not a good time. It should be best to wait until I get back, get back within the, yeah, I should um, save my mount's stamina in case I have to make a dash for it like earlier when I encountered that player and that player just yeah practically made a beeline for me I think you know every every time I look back it was just oh all right run 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 don't even look back just keep running just use all the stamina so I can get back into 
this this is what you were made for, Jungle Kaito. This is what you were made for. Come on, do it. Yes. Whew. Man, my heart is literally beating so fast right now. <laughs> oh man. You did good. I think uh, I think you deserve a uh, a reward. Feed you something nice. Once I put away my gold, I will feed you something nice. And I brought the food. So, well done, Nakaito. You did very well. Uh, put this down, put this down, put all, the, all of it down. Just dump it all. You know. Yes, okay. There you go, appetizing fried pig, fried pig with whole rice. I'm sure you like that. <laughs> and yes, he likes it. That's good. <sighs> okay, <laughs> my heart's just um, yeah, it, just letting the heartbeat come back down. And where's my oh, there's my shovel. <laughs> yes, okay, all right. So, um, what is this for? Floated key. That's very strange. But anyway, I'm very happy. Got seven gold, and you know, <laughs> can't complain. Definitely happy that I got seven gold and a whole lot of other things. And traveler's leggings. Let me just put that on and. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that's what it is. It's just the uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I think that's um, yeah, that's civilian clothing, and so yeah, it's definitely cool. And you did well. I'm very pleased. So, I think this is where I'll end it. <laughs> um, don't have a lot of time to play in any given day, but I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this trip. It's a solo trip, and and uh, oh, okay. So thank you for watching, and hope that you can please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Look forward to seeing you next time. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and also just like to ask that if you can please consider supporting me on Patreon and I've got the page, got the link in the description below and so I'll see you next time. Take care.